America. What's going on? Uh, it's camping quarter. Look who's back. I, God. Look who's back. <sighs> it's by fan vote. Apparently. I'm totally kidding. Yeah. Mau yeah. Mau's not feeling well. No yep. worries. Yep. She's COVID free. COVID free, but under the weather nonetheless. Under the weather. We're wishing her a speedy recovery because I don't like doing this with you. See, I can't even keep my papers together. <laughs> I, that's fine. I just don't like you. I mean, it doesn't matter what we do. <laughs> hurtful, buddy. Hurtful. Just kidding. Just kidding. Hey, you know what? It is the Labor Day extravaganza. Extravaganza. It's Labor Day weekend. Are you throwing a banger at your campsite this weekend? Uh, no. Why not? Because I'm almost 50 years old. We don't throw bangers. We just sit around and have cocktails. And I seem to recall a certain 4th of July weekend where some people might have assumed you were having a banger. I, I was all by myself. <laughs> <laughs> you were having a great time. I, I had a great time. And, you know, once every five years, it r- reminds me that tequila is not my friend. How were the fireworks? I, I hear they were fantastic. <laughs> they were. They were quite nice, actually. They were quite nice. So, let's jump in. What's the buzz? What is the buzz this week? So, this is really cool. You guys hopefully remember me from previous episodes. I'm on our social media all the time, so I see all this stuff. gives me a little advantage over you. I happened to be going through, and I saw this really cool mention of us, and it was from The Direction TV. So, I clicked it. I'm like, what is this? And these gentlemen, or this gentleman, has his own fishing show called The Direction TV. Cool. So I'll put a link down in the description for it because if you enjoy fishing, uh, you'll like this. What I thought was really cool, though, is he bought his hideout from us and travels around to a lot of his fishing destinations in his hideout. That's super cool. Right? I mean, we have a celebrity following him. I know, and he didn't, didn't even come in and be like, look. No. I'm, I'm a celebrity. No. I got my own fishing show. Right? He was very low-key. So, really cool. Um, I'm going to reach out to him and hopefully do some collaboration with him because, I mean, camping and fishing kind of go hand in hand. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, we get lots of pictures from um, the Alters? Altair? Altairs. 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 I know you and I went to meet them because they, they, they send us a lot of pictures. I just remember all and tear. tear. Yeah. Somebody's driving through the studio. <laughs> it sounds that way. That would be a forklift probably moving some of the units we picked yeah, up. Yeah, absolutely. So, you know, it's always great seeing uh, I love those you know, guys. Our, our customers are always sending great stuff in. Everybody, keep that up. We shared um, I am special. Facing the name of the winner, shame on me. But we got that awesome photo that you guys shared from what would have been two weeks ago now. Right. That's our header on Facebook. Right. We've shared a lot of those photos. Keep them coming. I absolutely love them, and I know our fans do too. So please keep sharing those. Yep. We got another great one. I thought this one was adorable. Look at that little guy. Look at that smile on his face. We've oh, got yeah. a future camper right yep. there. Yep. He's he's gonna grow up and do exactly what. You know. Isn't that cool? Yeah. I mean that's what that's what I did. I know that's what you did too. Yeah. Like I grew up camping. The nostalgia of it got me into camping, yeah. and you know hopefully pass that on to our kids. Yeah. Well, you know I, I I think a lot about and, and we talk about it at the campground occasionally. All of the new people that came into the RV industry during COVID. Yep. And how, you know. Let's face it, we're, our kids are connected now. They they're, they're constantly have their phones or their right. computers or video games and so on like that. And, you know, how many kids started out this summer with this new feeling of, ooh, what's that, what's that strange smell in the air? That's fresh air. Yep. That's what that is. And campfire smells. Yeah. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. So, well, and I'll tell you, too, talking about that with COVID, um, we just got back from Gulf Shores, and this year – we didn't take our camper. We rented a house because we went with my mom, my stepfather, my son, and his girlfriend. And it was completely different because we didn't have our house with us. Right. Like, when usually we go, we have all of our blankets, we have all of our pillows, it's all of our stuff. And when we got there, you know, it was like, go through a cleaning procedure right. because we don't know what all people touch, what they had last. So it right. is, I mean, 
in my opinion, which is not medical or scientific, it's it's definitely feels like a safer way to vacation and sure. travel. So. Yeah. Even without the safe, the safer, I just like my own stuff. Amen. Amen. You know. Yep. You know who did what with it and where it is. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. You know. So, around the web, some really cool stuff around the web. My third favorite segment. Third favorite? Yeah. You know, I don't even know if I have a favorite. I just like doing the show. It's a lot of fun. What the what's solid. What, what the what is solid. I am going to admit, though, who sold it better it's, I saw those. It's pretty comical. And I'm not happy about it this week because I was hoping Mallory was in this scene <laughs> and not me. Yeah. 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 So I'm not happy about that. All but right. yeah, around the web, around the web. It is almost October. Yeah. Which I, I, I drove. Think. I, I no. I, you know, I drove through the campground yesterday, and um, they were starting to rake up some of the leaves that have already fallen. You know. Off some of the trees, like you hear the walnuts hitting you know, the campers, yeah, and yeah. But you know, it's a cool. One of my favorite months for camping is October because typically it's like jacket weather during the day. You can have your campfire all day long. Yep. Uh, cooler weather in the evening if you've got that fireplace in your camper, you can yep. kick that on. And I love the decorations. Because yeah. let's face it, camping all you know, camping all summer long is is fantastic. Mm-hmm. But those, you know, July and August nights when it's 90 degrees with 95% humidity and yeah. somebody, you know, one of the kids goes, hey, can we build a fire? No. 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 Go find another <laughs> campground. You know, go find another camper that's got a fire and take right. a lunch here. Right, right. Yeah. So we got a couple, I think a couple. Yeah, we've got a couple of Halloween decorations and I thought this was awesome. What a clever way of decorating the front of yeah. this reflection yeah. for Halloween. Yeah. Maybe after one of those blowouts, that might that might create a little issue when you looked up and saw that at night across the it very well could right? right right it's yeah. just staring at me yeah. it's staring at me yeah. <laughs> and then we uh, Greer actually found this um, of course she's always looking for the crafty cutesy things but I thought this was a really uh, a cool thing to do with a bale of now is that straw or hay yes. I always get that confused. That's hay. My dad would always correct me. I'd be like, look at that straw. And he'd be like, that's hay. Or I'd be like, look at that hay. And he would say, that's straw. That's, that's hay. The, the round bale is hay. Uh-huh. The square bale is straw. So check out that creative thing of hay. Hey, look at that. Hey, that's cool. That'd be a perfect dad joke. Hey, kids. <laughs> hey, look at that. Just saying. Hey, that's cool, Dad. <laughs> so Greer found this also uh, really cool this Vicki Rollins flower art statement okay she creates artwork with natural items she doesn't use any glue she doesn't use tape she puts it together and it's all natural and check out these things that she made so I don't know how she does it like zero glue zero tape I don't know if maybe this is it laying flat I need to do more investigation on this like how would you how would you adhere that it has to be like on a flat surface yeah but then what do you do with it after that do you just make it and take the photo of it apparently I mean to me you would glue it and hang it I mean I and then sell it on eBay yeah put it in one of those little shadow boxes yeah. sell it on eBay yeah and then she's got a second one here. Again, similar look and feel. Maybe that's just, is it? Nope, that's different. She's got a daytime and a nighttime yep. one. Absolutely. That's, that's pretty nice. slick. Yeah, it's, it's cool. I mean, she could use, now, is she saying that she doesn't use glue like, hey, I'm not using super glue, but she's using, you know, she could be using pine tar. She does just say all natural. It's all natural. So she could be using pine tar or... We're going to have to do more investigation yeah. on this. Tree gum or something. We're going to have to do more investigation. Okay. Gadget Corner. Stand by. I got to go get this bad boy, okay? Stay right there. Ta-da! Ta-da! That's a uni. Or an oni. Oni? Uni? <laughs> no, I think it's uni. uni. I just always struggle with the enunciation of it. That, my friend, is a gourmet pizza oven, or a gourmet shrimp oven, or a gourmet steak oven, 
or a gourmet chicken oven. Basically, it's a gourmet oven that you could cook a lot of stuff in. Yeah. Now, the box shows somebody cooking asparagus in it. Why? No, I like asparagus. I'm just kidding. Got some information from Sean, our parts manager. Okay. There's a couple of different models. This model is not the pro model. So this just uses the pellets. So this is only for amateurs. This is for amateurs. This is a good starter one, and then you work your way up to being a professional uni cook, okay? So this one retails for us at $195. It's stainless steel. This one does only use the pellets. It needs 100% hardwood pellets. Don't you dare put a softwood pellet in this thing. Don't do it. I don't know what will happen, but apparently... <laughs> I mean, I almost kind of want to try it just to see. Well, like, just put one in. <laughs> just one. Whole thing falls apart. <laughs> anyway, it takes 10 minutes to heat up, which is not bad. No. Because a lot of people that cook on charcoal grills, it takes them more like 45 minutes to get that thing right. heated up, right? The coal's got to get to the right color. And then we're going to have to, ooh, that's going to be a good one, Greer. We're going to put a poll on Facebook on proper way to start a charcoal fire. Do you build it up initially? Do you lay them out and let all of them get a little bit of lighter fluid and then build them up and work them together? That'd be a good one. Anyway, <laughs> they say you could cook anything and everything on this bad boy. And it's wood fired, so you're going to get, like, if you do a pizza on that, mm, get that little wood fired taste on that pizza. It's going to be perfect. Woo. <laughs> yeah, afterwards, <laughs> you're going to get all of your family to go, that was a great meal. That was fantastic, except for. I can taste that one soft <laughs> pellet in there. <laughs> I'm telling you, I think if you put a soft pellet in it, it falls apart. It looks pretty simple to use, guys. I mean, if I were to just get this out of the box, I would assume you drop some pellets there in the back. And I would assume you put your food up there in the front. <laughs> Otherwise, you're not putting very big, much food back there in the That's back. That's going to be like bagel bites. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Oreo cookie, drop an Oreo cookie and bloop, bloop. Okay, gadget quarter is done. Uni oven. If anybody's used one, definitely leave a comment down below. Tell us your experience. Tell us if you've tried a softwood pellet in there. And what yeah, happened? What, yeah, what happened? Yeah, I'm kind of just so, trying to know. So I chuckled when you were talking when you said something about lighting a, a charcoal, you know, lighting your charcoal charcoal grill. So last weekend we were in the campground riding around 10:30, 11 o'clock, just making a roll around on the golf cart through the campground. And as we come around, there are some steel workers that are in the campground. Okay. And he is lighting the his campfire. He's lighting the fire out in the fire ring. But he's got a propane tank and and a rosebud, the thing that you see like the you know <laughs> the, the way to do they it. They melt tar. Yeah. And I, I just like rolled by and we gave each other the Yep. 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 Proud of you, yep. man. Yep. I mean, think I about it. That's so much easier. <laughs> oh, like, yeah. I've got a buddy that has one of those, and that's how he starts a fire. I yeah. mean, it could be wet wood. It could be any day. He yeah. holds that thing in there for a couple of minutes. Boom, <laughs> you've got a fire going. The uni yeah. is going to stay with us for the remainder of the show only because I'm too lazy to get up and take it out of the shot. I know. But it doesn't weigh very much. No, I'm just lazy. No, no. I know. I just wanted everyone at home to go, well, you know, maybe Dan doesn't want to pick it up and carry it because it's really heavy. No, no, no. It's pretty It's lightweight. actually very lightweight. Until you load a bunch of hardwood pellets in there, and then it really weighs it down because they're hardwood. Yeah. <laughs> I got the dad joke stuff going on today. We'll don't, just move on. Don't move drop on. them on your head because they're hard. <laughs> Guess what it's time for, Doug. What the what? What the what? Where is, before we even continue... Where is our theme music from Mr. Matthias? I don't know. Did he not send it in? Matthias, M Matthias, I know you're in the campground this weekend, or almost at the campground. Uh, you had one job and one job only, and you had two weeks to do it. Two weeks! Two weeks! I was gone last week, so we didn't have camping corner. Two weeks! Matthias, Dan's disappointed in you. Yeah, majorly, majorly. I, I, I had expectations for you, bud. All I've heard from him this they week is They were low crickets. expectations. Oh, very low. I had the bar low. low. Nonetheless. But yeah, it's just been crickets. Yeah. I mean, crickets. All right. So anyway, what the what? Let's what jump in. <laughs> I don't know what this 1950s monstrosity is, but it's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's cool. I Personally, I would have put the, the entrance at the back. I mean, just think your front door is going to be covered in bugs. <laughs> Why? I wonder why 
they didn't put it in the back? I don't know. What was the logic there? But you could you could do the Titanic thing. You could like ride up there going down the road and stand up there like this. Ooh, I like that. Now my question is, does that smokestack actually attach and do something? Do they have a wood burning stove in there? They they maybe they have an uni. <laughs> I was just gonna say maybe they have an uni in there. They might have an uni. That is okay. What kind of car is that? You're good at that. It's I, definitely a Chevy, right? Uh, it's a GM product. I actually think um, it may be the um, you know the yellow the the classic yellow taxi cab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I it may be that that may be what it started out as. That 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 looks like the um, which is kind of a weird monstrosity. I forget the company that made those. Um, but they're, you know, the, the, you know, famous classic New York city yep, yep. yellow taxis. Can we I just think, say it's ugly? I mean, it, this thing is ugly. Well, you know, uh, baby poop brown was probably not the best <laughs> color, but I guess if you're, maybe they're hunting out of it. Maybe it's a mobile hunting blind. Do deer so not camouflage. see baby poop brown? Uh, not if it's like maybe in the woods. I don't know. Okay. All right. I've never asked him if you know. I've never asked. Him now I see you it. rolling in this next one. Yeah, I'm 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 kind of in on this. I can see you and Stacy totally cruising down the road in this bad boy. Yeah. I mean that's pretty cool actually. That's a that's an old truck camper, right? Yeah, probably a truck camper that they uh, uh, they they dressed up, put it on the on the. It's not even a trike because it's got four wheels in the back. But man, that thing's super cool. V8 powered. Don't they uh, make don't they make a V8 powered uh, motorcycle. motorcycle that you can buy? What's yeah, it called? It's there's like a the com- big boss, dog or boss hog. Boss hog. There's a couple companies. I mean are. that that is pretty cool. I mean you can hit the open road, um, get the bugs in your face, and then camp at night. Yeah, I Super like that cool. one. I like it. Wayne's World, Wayne's World, party, party time. time, excellent. excellent. You remember that, right? <laughs> swing, <laughs> swing. Um, I love this one. Uh, big Mike Myers. That was his name, right? Mike Myers. Mike Myers. Yeah. Dana Carvey. Dana Carvey. Great show. Wayne's World two. Eh, Wayne's World one. But what a cool and creative paint job on. I mean, it's van life, definitely, yeah. right? Yeah. They did a killer job on that. I don't say what the what. I say, oh yeah. You. Yeah. How many people you think? When they see that going down the road, they do the little swing. Only people in our age group, probably. <laughs> Greer's age group is like, well, she's is... probably never even seen it. Have, have yeah, you? I have. Have you seen Wayne's World? Yeah. Did you see Wayne's World too? Mm-hmm. Did you like it? Yeah. Okay. That's kind of the general consensus. I think we've had this. We've one had before. this one before. Uh, Greer, I put her in charge. And That's okay. Went. Greer came into the show. You know, she came in. Midway through. Like episode 16, 17? We, you know, we lost our old... Grip, Ashley? Yeah. Yep, yep. We didn't, I mean, we didn't lose her. Well, we know where she, where she is. I mean, <laughs> she's, she's not passed away or anything. No. Like, she's, she's still alive. It's not like we went to Target and <laughs> left her there. <laughs> she basically just said she couldn't do this show anymore because of you. <laughs> Look, I got one feeling left, and if you think that's going to hurt it. <laughs> so, now we come to the dreaded who sold it better. Usually I would say my favorite who sold it better because I'm not in the hot seat. But this is going to stink because I've seen both of them. All right. So I'm going to let you pick. Yep, and that way you just get stuck with whatever. With what I've heard, yes, because I've seen both the All right. Which one did you choose, A or B? Oh, I got A. <laughs> See, I actually wanted this one. <laughs> All right. One, so, first off, one of the greatest Christmas movies of all time, bar none, hands down. Top two. Top one. Oh, you, you're going to get people all riled up. It's a Wonderful Life. Uh, uh, White Christmas. Bing Crosby. Like, you're... You're treading on some dangerous ground there. Top three. Top one. Top one. Okay, I'm going to say top three. Don't send the hate mail to me. Direct it that direction. What do you say, America? I, it's hey, hey, we're getting to fall. Top five Christmas movies. Put okay. it in the comments. Top five Christmas movies. Okay. I mean, that's an easy list, but okay. So what? 
I can only think of one. I mean, you you know, you name three, and I was like, yeah, I, I haven't seen, you know, White Christmas with Bing Crosby since I was like 10. Sarah makes me watch it every year. You're forgetting what would be probably the greatest a Christmas story, Red Rider BB Gun. Yeah, but it, it's just not. It's it's not. I mean, it's. I mean, it's on the. It's probably in the, the top ten. Christmas with the Cranks. Um, with Tim Allen. The, yeah, I mean, it's just down there. Uh, Elf. Elf. With Will, Will, with Will yeah. Ferrell, which I, I which I love. I think that I think it's hysterical. What's the one with Arnold Schwarzenegger where he's trying to get the toy for his kid the yeah, whole show? Uh, that yeah, one's. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be but, top ten. All right, but, so sell this bad boy. All right, man. Look. First and, first and foremost, it's sold at the mural on the side. Yes. Uh, S, asterisk, asterisk, <laughs> T, E, R, S, full Clark. I mean, that's that's that that's it right there. Uh-huh. uh-huh. That sells it. 99% of all the guys on the planet, if they saw this with a for sale sign on it, they'd look at their wife. Their wives would immediately go, nah. Yeah. Nah. But they would have to have it. I would totally take this thing camping. I'm not even lying. I don't care what the inside looks like. I would totally take this thing camping. I, I, I definitely would. And just the looks when you were driving around town. And you'd have to get, realistically, if you're driving it or if you're camping, you would have to put on Full guard. The, the Cousin Eddie outfit. You'd I mean, have you, to. You've got to. You have to. You don't smoke. Who cares? Put a cigarette or cigar in your mouth. Yeah. You gotta yeah. have the hat. You gotta have the robe. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's even got the Santa on the top that yep. got launched at yep. the end of the show. <laughs> yeah. I can't tell what all that other stuff is up there, but I'm assuming it's from the movie or related to the movie. Yeah. That that's that's hysterical. I mean, it's perfect. It actually looks like it's in pretty good shape, and they have painted the distress. I th- on yeah, it. I think they've painted the 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 distress and all that other stuff. So. That was an easy sell for you. You yeah. would literally take the customer out, walk them to the side with the mural, and go, "You, Dan, you have got to see this. <laughs> there it is. I'll take it. I'll take it. I don't care. Blank check. Yeah. Take my money. <laughs> take, take my money. Okay. Oh. Wow. Um. <laughs> well. Guys, we were talking about Direction TV earlier and wanting to be able to fish and camp. This is everything all in one. Basically, we're selling you a beautiful Class A motorhome. Uh, it looks to be intact, I think. And we have an easy solution for carrying your boat. Don't worry about double towing or that pesky extra trailer behind you. Just put your boat up in the back. And when you go to boat launch, all you have to do is slide down the boat ramp and hit your brakes really, really hard at the end, and you're fishing. <laughs> I mean, this is this is bad. Do you? How would? How does that even happen? Oh, I okay. I see now. The trailer's there, yeah. so they've not mm. hooked it up and yeah. hit the brakes really hard. Yep. Yep, and it's a so it's a good public service announcement to whenever you're towing stuff, make sure that your load is secured. Give it that one last. Yep, and I'll hold it right there. Do you know how bad that would scare you? <laughs> bad. I mean, really, really bad. Like really bad. What if the missus was in the back taking a nap while you were on your way back? Like that's scary. And it's Legend Cat Pro Staff. Surely that's not. Like an actual pro fisherman's RV and boat. I don't know. I don't know. It's just got to be one of those like cool stickers, right? Yeah. Wow. Well, Tony, you definitely had the easier one there. Yep, I did. We just finished an episode. We did. Without Mallory. Yeah. Sans Mallory. It wasn't really that bad. No, it wasn't. It wasn't horrible. I mean. I mean, don't tell Mallory that. It was horrible. Oh my God, it was horrible. Yeah, when she's around, it'd be yes. like, it, it was the hardest thing we ever had to do. Yep. Bud, I enjoyed doing the show with you. Thanks for uh, filling in short notice. Mallory, get better. Matthias, we're disappointed. Yeah, clock, or, sorry, clock's ticking, yep. Matthias. Bye. We need to come up with some kind of a punishment if he doesn't have it for us for next week's show. I don't know what that is yet, but we need to come up with it. 
and send it to him. Okay, we can do that. I'm sure that uh, Daisha would get involved in that yep. too. She would be happy to do that. She'll help that. Well, guys, until next week, I won't be back. I'll be on the other side of the camera, hopefully. But uh, Tony, it's been a pleasure. Yep. See you guys.